What is going on everybody, my name is Ark and welcome to another video. Now I'm sorry for the lack of uploads lately. Um, I have been trying to figure out some content to upload and I don't want to upload the same game multiple times per week without anything in between it, otherwise it just gets a bit boring. I need a little bit of variation in there. Now this video is going to be a rant about Sophie Hagen. She is a comedian and basically discounts Melissa McCarthy. So she made a tweet the other day saying, I cannot stress how much we need a fat Disney princess. We need it now, shut up, we fucking do. And the thing is, we don't. And the, f the fact about that is why everyone says that we don't need a fat Disney princess is because we don't want children growing up thinking that being fat is a good thing. Now, all these, you know, fat acceptance people, they're like, yeah, being fat's good, being fat's all right. But no, it isn't. Like, I, I'm fat myself, and I'm trying to lose weight. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not going to the gym as much as I should be. But I want to lose weight. Because I know that it will be bad for me in the future if I don't. And this is the thing that people like Sophie Hagen here can't understand, is that... It's not healthy to be fat. It is not it is not good to be fat. Just because the just because Sophie Hagen here can't be asked to get up and go to the fucking gym and lose some weight rather than accepting that she's the problem, she blames it on everyone else. So first first of all, all the all SJWs, I'm not including Sophie Hagen in this because I haven't seen anything much more about her. She, I don't even know if she's like a feminist or not. I don't know. But you have SJWs now saying that these white cis men are the issue with everything. And then you have fat acceptance saying that all the skinny people are the issue as well. It's like, do you see what's going wrong here? And I want to refer to a movie that I watched the other day. I bought it on iTunes called The Accountant. It's got Ben Affleck in it. It's a brilliant movie. I'm not at all paid to say this. But it is quite a good movie. But the movie is quite interesting though. Because the main character, he is autistic. Which makes him good at his job. But the thing that I want to point out in it. Is that with... With the accountant, through the whole film, it's it's touched on regularly that about autism and all that. It's touched on regularly, but if you took out everything to do with autism and just said that he was good at his job, then <laughs> you could say something like Taken, where it's just like his job, he is good at it. You could have basically gone ahead, taken anything to do with autism out of the accountant. And it would have still been the exactly same film. That's what I'm trying to hint on there. It could have been the exactly same film without involving autism. And that's what Disney films would be like. If they put a fat person in it, it wouldn't make a fucking difference. You could go ahead and just re-replace it with a skinny person. And it would make no influence on the story at all. It would have to be a movie about fat people it would have to be about fatness that's the thing it would have to be about it because if they made it a fat princess like i just said it could just be interchanged and no difference so what i'm going to go ahead and do is have a look on youtube i'm going to go ahead and watch some of her comedy i'll i'll try editing it a little bit because i don't want to be caught for copyright at all but I'll have a look at what her comedy is, and yeah, we'll go from there. All the way from Denmark, Sophie Hagen. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, I am from Denmark. Thank you. No one cares. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'll start by telling you something that will uh, sum me up as a person. Uh, I was in this very building last Saturday, because I decided to try and dance, which is not really like me, because I don't usually move. And I sweated so much that when I went to the bathroom, I just uh, slipped off the toilet seat. <laughs> now it's your turn to share something embarrassing. <laughs> I want to 
to tell you uh, a, a nice... Well, that's not my thing, right? I've never done that before. I've never considered doing that before. I've never wanted to do that before, but I'm very competitive. <laughs> the second he was like, I bet, I was like, bring it on. I'll show you that I can do this. So we went to the bathroom, uh, which is a bit of a mood killer. You want to be really open, like, oh, you have a fetish, that's amazing, that's very normal and respectable, and I, for one, completely accept it, but we will need to go to the bathroom, because you're disgusting. <laughs> so we went to the bathroom. <laughs> this is going to get descriptive, you might as well get on board. So <laughs> he laid down in the shower, and I, like, uh, a half ago, what? I joined a fitness center, uh, <laughs> and the guy behind the counter, he asked me, what is your end goal? And I wanted to be honest with him, so I said, oh, I just want to sweat more than I cry. <laughs> Which is the truth, to be honest. And he, oh, I, I went there because I wanted to be like healthy, uh, not thin. That's not necessarily the same thing. You can be thin and unhealthy, and you can be fat and healthy. That's just a fact, and if you disagree, you can get your own fucking microphone. So. <laughs> I never went back. I'm still, and I still pay them. <laughs> because I'm a good person, right? You know how some people sponsor a child in Africa? I sponsor a gym in South London. <laughs> what I like about your country uh, are your words. Like, for example, right, I'm fat. Now, that I don't mind that. I love that. I love my body. I think everyone should love my body. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? Shut up. <laughs> But the thing is, when you're fat, you have to listen to a lot of abuse uh, because there are people out there who hate fat people. Like, these people exist. And in English, you've made words for that. So a person who hates fat people, you can call them two things, right? You can call them either um, a fatophobe, right? Or um, a cunt. <laughs> Like Ina, Ina, she's my best friend. Ina, she's amazing, right? Ina, she's beautiful. Like she's, you know, the conventionally beautiful, skinny, blonde, right? So she's. Don't get drunk with your white friends. Can't do it. Can't fucking do it, they don't drink like niggas. Niggas, we are very consistent. If a nigga drink Hennessy, that's what the fuck that nigga drink. That's what he drink, Hennessy. You ain't gotta keep asking. That's what he drink on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, his birthday, Jesus' birthday, Hennessy. <laughs> if they don't have Hennessy, he will take Remy as a backup. That's as far as it goes. White people don't care what they drink. All they care about is what they said when they was leaving the house. Tonight, we're getting fucked up. <laughs> if you go to jail and call your nigga friends, these motherfuckers will interrogate you more than the goddamn police did. <laughs> they had your ass on the phone. Where the fuck was you at? What the fuck was you doing? Why the fuck you ain't called me? Not your white friends. Them motherfuckers will be there by the time you hang up the phone, and they'll be madder than you. Just what the fuck did he do? <laughs> Murder? Murdered who? Look, I fucking known him for two weeks. He wouldn't fucking do something like that. <laughs> white people, though, let me say this. Y'all need some nigga friends. Get you some nigga friends. Just don't ever, ever call them your nigga friends. Don't ever. That'll fuck the relationship up. There's my nigger friend. You guys say it all the time, what? <laughs> okay, and I may have got a little bit distracted there, but let's carry on with her tweets, shall we? She responded to this tweet. No, she posted another tweet shortly after saying, Oh my, Twitter's new filters are incredible. I made a fat positive tweet with 86 replies, and I can only see the nice ones. Well done. <laughs> so first of all, saying, We need it now, shut up, we fucking do. That's, that's not a fat positive tweet. That's demanding. That's a demand. That's not fat positive. That's a demand. And the thing is, I haven't actually screenshotted it in this, but people, she explained that people with the t check mark, people that are verified on Twitter get extra filters to filter out all the spam, um, 
spam, foul language, all that sort of stuff. They get extra uh, filters to filter it all out. So responding to her earlier tweet, somebody responded saying like, how do you feel about seeing all of these people insulting you and stuff like that? And she basically responded with saying, I haven't seen a single one of them. Twitter filters out all of the coward, Nazis and little boys, so I only see the nice ones. Before I continue, I want to show you the definition of coward. Coward. A person who is contemptibly lacking in the courage to do or endure dangerous or unpleasant things. So, these other people, they're expressing their freedom of speech, saying how you're wrong. And yet, you're the one that's hiding from them. Don't you see here that you're the coward? <laughs> I'm really surprised that she doesn't see that she is the coward here. It's it's funny and ironic at the same time. It is beautiful. Honestly, it is just beautiful. The irony is amazing. So online we'll usually say a lot of these SJWs and feminists, they'll stay in their echo chamber and not listen to anything from outside. And the thing is, I, I personally don't feel like they... Like, feminists and SJWs, I don't think that they know that they've put themselves in an echo chamber. I don't feel like they actually know that they've done it. They're just standing by what they believe in and actively supporting it and just ignoring other people. I don't feel like they know themselves that they're in an echo chamber. But Sophie Hagen here, she's basically admitting here, she is basically admitting that she has theoretically built her own echo chamber and is sitting inside of it by herself. She She's basically saying that. She's basically accepting that she's in her own echo chamber here. She's basically accepting that rather than listening to other people, which is just stupid, really. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe as per usual. Check out the on-screen links for other videos that I have done. And yeah, I thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.